Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering conceptual design with the ER model in DBMS. Guys, I have uploaded a complete DBMS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description, you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Conceptual design is the second phase in the database design process. Guys, in database design process, second step is conceptual design. And whereas first phase is requirement gathering. After gathering all requirements from the user, in software company there is database designer. The main duty of this database designer is to design ER diagrams. So in conceptual design phase, we will design ER diagrams. While creating ER diagrams in conceptual design phase, this database designer has several choices like Should a concept be modeled as an entity or attribute? Should a concept be modeled as an entity or relationship set? Should a concept be modeled as a binary or ternary relationship? or should a concept be modeled as an aggregation or ternary relationship. This is entirely designer's choice. I will explain each of them. At first, I will explain attribute versus entity set. For example, there is an employee entity. This employee entity contains three attributes. They are name, ID and address. For example, I want to give single address like Hyderabad, Delhi, Goa. So if you want to give only single address, then you can select address as an attribute. Here I want to enter single address, so I am selecting address as an attribute. But I don't want to enter single address. I want to enter complete address like city Hyderabad, street Nagol and house number 28-864. I want to enter this complete address. At that time what I will do is, I will select address as an entity. Inside address entity, I will create three attributes. They are city, street and house number. Guys, entity is nothing but table name. And whereas attribute is nothing but column names. Here at first I selected address as an attribute that is nothing but column name and whereas here I selected address as an entity that is nothing but table name. Just I am writing here employee has address. I am establishing has relationship between employee and address. Either you can select address as an attribute or entity. It is completely designer's choice. This is all about attribute versus entity. Next I will explain entity set versus relationship set. For example there is employee entity. This employee entity contains three attributes. They are name, ID and salary. And there is another entity. That entity name is department. This department entity contains D name and DID attributes. Employee manager's department. Here I am establishing manager's relationship. And here for manager's relationship, I am creating three attributes. They are since. Since at what time he is managing. Manager's name and budget. How much budget that particular manager is given in order to manage department. Here I took managers as relationship set. But all employees will not manage department. Only managers will manage department. But here I written employee manage department. But this is entirely wrong concept because employee will not manage department. Only manager will manage department. So what I will do is I will convert this manager's relationship into manager's entity. Here from employee entity, I am deriving manager's entity. And I am assigning all these attributes to this manager. So just I written here employee is a manager. And I am assigning all these attributes to this manager. So manager manages department. Now it is perfect. Here manages is relationship and whereas here manager is entity. Next I will explain binary versus ternary relationship. If we establish relationship between two entities, then we call those relationship as binary relationship. But if we establish relationship between three entities, then we call those relation as ternary relationship. For example, there are two entities. One is supplier's entity and next one is product entity. As we know, Supplier buys product. At first, in order to sell product, at first, suppliers will buy products. So, just I written here, suppliers buys product. I am establishing buys relationship between these suppliers and product. Suppliers has attributes like name ID and product has attributes like P name and PID. And similarly, customers also buys product. So, just I written here, customers buys product. So, I am establishing buys relationship between these customers and product. Instead of creating two binary relationships, what I will do is, I will create only one ternary relationship by combining the suppliers and customers. So suppliers buys product and customers buys product. This is ternary relationship. If there is relationship between three entities, then we call it as ternary relationship. And next one is aggregation versus ternary relationship. This is ternary relationship. Suppliers buys product, customers buys product. Both suppliers and customers buys product. So what I will do is, I will convert these two entities into a single entity by establishing along with relationship. So suppliers along with customers consider as single entity. So just I written here suppliers along with customers buys product. 
Here suppliers along with customers is considered a single entity and I am establishing buyer's relationship. This is all about conceptual design.